Hello and uh, welcome to our new uh, video. Today actually I am going to uh, discuss one topic about uh, the ENDC which is uh, yours you can say where you have your LT plus the NR uh, network and in this case we are talking specifically about the NSA that is your non-standalone uh, network. So in the NSA networks sometimes it becomes very important to balance uh, the LT and the NR coverage and specifically uh, in the phases where you have just started to deploy the NR network or you are in the middle of uh, the NR deployment. And in this scenario is uh, what usually uh, happens is that for example this is your, uh, uh, your E node B and your G node B is also co-located. So your NR coverage will be something like this and then you have your LD network. And your NR coverage is a bit patchy. So you can see NR is not covering everywhere, it's, it's, it's patchy. So what happens in this part is that you need to optimize or tune your B1 threshold and your B1 threshold, we talk about B1, B1 is your IRAC threshold uh, for NR. So for example, you have your LTE network on, on that LTE network, you have uh, basically uh, configured uh, measurement reports and that measurement report will actually check that when your uh, NR coverage has become better than a certain threshold and that threshold is B1. I have described in one of my other videos of coexistence, will be good to check it out. But this B1 threshold, for example, you have set it to MEG. 1112 TBM. So what will happen here is that for example if you have set it to neg 112 dBm then as soon as the NR coverage goes better than neg 112 dBm your UE will attempt to go on to the NR cell add it as a secondary cell. This is how it happens in the NSA. Now, where the point of balancing this coverage comes? So now if your UE has gone onto your NR, is having a coverage of neg 112 dBm, and if you're using uh, a split bearer in the PDCP, then in that scenario, what will happen is that your major user plane traffic, uh, if you have set your network like that, will start coming from the NR site. And if you have set it up, it, you can set it up that if your major traffic comes from the uh, from the LT side, but if majority of the NSA networks you want your NR network to be utilized, what will happen is that your uplink, your uplink uh, control channeling, control majority of it will go through LT, and some of your NR control will go through NR. And some of the acts also go through the NR uplink. Now, if you are, uh, for example, in a LT band uh, between under 200, under 2000 megahertz, for example, you're in your band three, band one, if you are in your uh, low band LT, but your NR is in the 3.5 uh, to 3.6 gigahertz of band, then your the propagation loss on your NR will be significant. And that's why once you attach to this NR network, once you start moving towards in this patchy coverage, there will be points where your NR coverage will further degrade. And what will happen in that scenario is that your major throughput will be coming from NR. Now you're in bad coverage, so you will have used a lot of resource blocks, but you still might not be able to get that required throughput, which you might have gotten easily on the LD network if you had stayed on the LD network. So now this is a this is you can say an optimization problem where you want to tune your network thresholds and you want to tune your network performance so that it balances that where to use LTE and where to go to your uh, NR. So there's a balance between that if you do it to a uh, to passively then the deployments that you have made in the NR your NR might not be that much utilized. Then there's your on the other side that you are, uh, uh, aggressively uh, make your B1 threshold very low but uh, then what will happen? You will go to NR very quickly but 
you might not be able to get that throughput in your cell edge areas you might have been better served off uh, with LTE so what happened in the end is that your user experience will suffer if you make it very you can say you make it very low or you make it very high so you have to find that balance point and that balance point you can find uh, by using drive testing you can uh, have your UE on a one UE on NR and you can have your one UE on LTE and then you can compare that which points in this particular area were which LTE user was being served better and which points were where your NR user was being served better and using that data that data set and of course whichever uh, whichever supplier you are working on using those uh, the parameters from that vendor you can then combine that data set and then see that what will be the best strategy where you go on the NR network you leave the NR network you move back onto the LTE network and how you balance it out another way, a very important balancing is in the indoor uh, coverage so usually uh, uh, the indoor propagation losses are even higher than if you're in the outdoor so if you have set up certain uh, parameters certain thresholds then you need to look that if your are in or genome base serving a particular indoor areas indoor arenas then you need to see that is your B1 serving you the purpose or it's better served to buy the LT network and of course LT networks are usually more congested so you need to find that balance point but definitely use this parameter use this data set and use this uh, strategy that I have told you to find that uh, balance point because in the end uh, the operators uh, the suppliers all of us want the networks to perform at the optimum level and of course there are a lot of investments already done on the LT side and of course the investments are being done on the 5G side we want to get the maximum out of it still we remove, have in the ENDC one more point that I wanted to discuss was about the uplink so if you go into low coverage areas your NR uplink will suffer significantly because it's on a way higher uh, frequency so your uplink uh, act reports might suffer significantly and therefore your uplink throughput will also suffer significantly so if you are uh, designing a network then you want to see that where you want to use your LT as the uplink layer or where you want to use your NR as the uplink layer so these are certain considerations you want to see when designing and strategizing an NSA network and how to use the best in terms of the throughputs from LT and NR I hope uh, you like this uh, video and if you like it please share it and subscribe to the channel and leave any comments that you want to address a particular area thank you so much and see you next time